Hello, welcome to Season 1, Episode 3 of OCD Geeks. I'm your host, Chris. And I'm your co-host, Jack. So, how are you doing, Jack? Not bad. This week, restaurants and pubs are finally open to receive customers. I cannot wait to go out for a beer with a friend. I truly missed it. What about you, Chris? Well, since my OCD is related to contamination, it's still quite early for me to go out to meet friends. Even before the pandemic, I've had quite a few struggles. This world I event is a nightmare for all OCD contamination sufferers like me. I see. My OCD has a different theme compared to yours. It has more to do with my breathing pattern, but I totally understand your point. I hope the situation will get better worldwide, day by day, and we can go back to the life we know as soon as possible. After the last episode, our listeners may think we are already done with music, but music is not done with us. This topic haunts us, and we want to share how our mental tastes change throughout the years, how they evolved, and also how we remain faithful to our roots. Easy to say, the bands that accompanied us throughout the early and very delicate moments of our life, the soundtrack of our first experiences about when we start building relationship with our friends, feeling independent from the family, or simply perceiving ourselves as growing up, will always hold a special place in our heart. Our tastes might change, along with our personality and sensitivity, as we become adults, but it's impossible to lose that sense of attachment, to forget the melodies streaming out of our tape or CD recorder. I'm sure everyone, while listening to a song that was so keen on adolescence, has at least once told himself, how could I even like such a tune? But guys, the truth is, no matter how distant your tastes may be, some songs, especially when we are young, well, they just choose us, instead of the other way around. They, quite magically and unexpectedly, melt with our emotions and provoke amazing feelings inside, and all we can do is to enjoy. As we said in the trailer, our goal with this podcast is not focusing completely on our disorder. Instead, we want to stress the attention to our values, elements that are truly important to us. If you are dealing with OCD, or even if you care about personal development, I totally recommend reading a book called The Happiness Trap by Russ Harris. It's having a huge impact on improving my relationship with anxiety. We might want to dive deeper into this topic in a future episode. You're right, Chris, and I recommend it too. So, going back to music, could you tell us what are what are you currently listening to? Anyone in particular you want to thank this time? Jokes apart, I'm curious to know your opinion about contemporary music. I'm afraid no thanks this time. Anyways, I have a big passion for Japan and Japanese language. We'll totally explore this topic in a future episode about language learning. Actually, we both are polyglot, right Jack? We are, but it's still a long way to go. It kinda never ends. Oh, that's so true. Back to music, I've been listening quite a bit to a band called Dada Ray recently. They play original pop rock songs in Japanese. I totally recommend our listeners to check them out. Among their latest songs, I suggest you listen to Fake Radio. Their bass player is also known to be a member of a major J-rock band called Gesunoki Wami Otome. By the way, What are the artists that you would like to give us your two cents this time, Jack? This time, I'd like to share my opinion about a well-known worldwide band called Siguros. I'm sure you're familiar with with their music, Chris. Of course I am. I listened to their live show a few years ago. It was amazing. One of the best concerts of my life. Actually, you were the one to introduce me to Sigur Ross music in the first place. It was 2010, if I remember correctly. Wow, time does fly. Yes, Chris. Well, speaking of songs and groups which helped me develop my inspiration and creativity, I must by all means mention Sigur Ross. In 2005, when I first heard their song Hopi Pola on the radio, I was struggling a lot with my university studies. My motivation reached a halt point. I was too harsh on myself. And this song filled me up with love and self-acceptance. It brought a lot of childish memories overcoming me. As I discovered later on, Sigur Ross' post-rock music do exactly this. It helps you to accept your flaws and moments of uncertainty. Their melodies can be like cuddles. They align with nature and you can imagine yourself wandering around those majestic Icelandic landscapes where this group belongs. 
The very peculiar thing is that their lead singer, Yonsi, has a unique style. He usually uses his voice as an instrument and plays the electric guitar with a cello bow. A kind of mix between me and Chris, if we were the same person. Well, maybe you watch quite a bit of Dragon Ball Z. At least as much as you. Oh, I love that anime so much. Back to Yonsi, he hoped and produced onomatopoeic sounds to enrich his music. His first solo album, Go, is a fusion of all these elements. If you happen to feel anxious or sad, I'd recommend you to sit quietly in your room or in a safe place. Put the headphones on and abandon to the notes of Tornado. That is what I call mindful music. A music that can restore your soul. Yeah, and I still remember covering together songs such as Boy Lily Koi and Go Do. How I miss my 20s. We're still young, Chris. Just 20. Plus 12. Joke apart, guys, don't focus too much on the passing of time. Take good care of all the precious memories you have. If you are struggling with a mental disorder or anxiety, don't let it take you away from the present moment. Now is the only time you can truly live. If you are curious to dive deeper into this topic, I totally recommend the wonderful book The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. It's not a book specifically about OCD, but it can support you in your quest to recover. So. That's all for today. Feel free to reach us at chris.ocdgeeks at gmail.com and jack.ocdgeeks at gmail.com or simply follow us on Instagram on our page OCDGeeks. Your support helps a lot to let the world know about the podcast. So until next time, let them talk our freaks. We stay tuned on OCDGeeks. <laughs>